Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Last night were the Game Awards, which is uh, an industry award show uh, where the categories are decided by approximately 90 games journalists. <laughs> you can't say it with a straight face. Uh, influencers and people like that. I didn't watch it. I didn't need to watch it. There was no point in watching the show. It's a shill show. Uh, it's where the industry literally uh, gets pandered to. And, of course, uh, a couple of days ago, there was one award, though, which is decided by the players, the gamers, via a vote on uh, the website. And it was for the player's choice game of the year. And that went to, by a comfortable margin, Ghost of Toshima. Now, this was really a rally cry after Neil Cockman had put out a tweet, another one of his passive-aggressive, nasty little tweets, because he's a nasty little man, uh, where he tried to rally his cult followers uh, to vote for The Last of Us Part 2, saying that every time they voted, a hater lost their caps locks. Because, of course, The Last of Us Part 2 was above criticism, was above reproach, because it was just the masterpiece of masterpiece, the pinnacle of gaming. Nobody could do any better. The storytelling was so sublime and unbelievable. You fell to your knees and worshipped Jesus for Neil Cockman. No, the game was shit. Objectively shit. The story was messy, clunky, all over the place. The characters were just god-awful, unlikable. Uh, there were so many death-could-come-at-any-time moments, it completely lost its meaning and relevance. The way they handled the trans character was essentially embarrassing. And the relationship between Dina and Ellie was nothing but a laughable joke that was clearly there just to pander. And that's, of course, why games journalists are falling over themselves to praise it. But you just have to put The Last of Us Part 2 in your Google search engine today and you get the BBC Last of Us 2 wins big at Game Awards. Gamesindustry.biz. The Last of Us Part 2 dominates at the Game Awards. Metro. All the Game Award 2020 winners. The Last of Us 2 sweeps the board. Push Square. The Last of Us 2 sweeps the Game Awards wins Game of the Year. The Game Awards winners list. The Last of Us Part 2 takes home major wins at star-studded ceremony. VG247.com. The Last of Us Part 2 wins Game of the Year at the Game Awards. Nintendo Life. Yes, you heard it. The Game Awards Game of the Year is The Last of Us Part 2. More and more and more. That's everything that you've been greeted with and the funny thing is all the platitudes and all the awards that the last of us part two got has now cemented its legacy as an unmitigated disaster and failure what are you talking about as it won all the awards how can it be a failure the simple fact of the matter is when your industry has to fall over itself to try and give the game that was meant to be the bestest ever its recognition, showering it with every single possible platitude and award that it could get. The simple fact is it could never, never overturn and never compensate for the fact that the players voted for a different game. You could give it your industry game of the year. You can give it best narration, which is laughable considering how terrible the storytelling was. You can give it art direction, this, that, and the other. You can give it all those awards. The players voted for another game. And Neil Cuckman himself, he can sit there as smug as he likes. He knows that every single time he wins one of these awards, 
it's another participation award it's another piece of plastic which has been handed to him by people that merely want to kiss his feet but those people weren't the players the players voted for ghost of Tashima. It's been eating him up inside ever since the game was released. In actual fact, it's been eating him up ever since the leaks came out. Because when the leaks came out, the reaction to them was one of, oh my god, this sounds like an absolute joke. And the simple fact of the matter was, that's what divided the fan base. So they tried to pull down sites like myself, my YouTube site, Jared Geeks and Gamers, many, many other. And we know the story all behind that because they wanted to try and curtail, they wanted to cut the leaks getting out there. And also anyone else who wanted to talk about it, they would pull down their channel, their videos too. The threats were real. But when they realized that people like myself wouldn't back down, wouldn't be intimidated by such cowardice on their behalf, somebody made the correct decision to say, look, we just got to let, let it all go. We just got to pull all of these claims and just hope that in the four or so weeks now leading up to the release of the game, that people are going to find a different story. Because nowadays, and it's absolutely true, the short-term memory is real when it comes to any news, whether it be real-life news or gaming news. Give it a couple of days and people want something different. They want something unique to talk about. And because there was a seven-year gap between the first game and the sequel, there were going to be plenty of normies that wouldn't have seen the rumors, won't have been on YouTube, and would simply be excited for the release of the sequel to the brilliant Last of Us. But of course, when the game came out, sold well within the first week, and then sales just died. 80% drop off rate week two, and then from there, gaming stores wouldn't even take in copies anymore because they simply had too many and they weren't selling. The masterpiece of Neil Cuckman, the person who took to a stage and flashed up games from his peers and dared have the temerity to say to them, this is not how I want to see women represented to my daughter. The hubris of the man citing AS, an absolute snake oil vendor as a source for his story going forward showed how lost this person was in identity politics. Also, it showed how stupid and easy it was to manipulate this absolute buffoon, clearly demonstrating the people who worked with him on his successes when they weren't involved in identity politics and pushing an agenda, were clearly superior to himself. And so his game came out, and the reaction by the mainstream media, of course, was one of, oh, magnifique. And yet the one received by the gamers, the important factor, was one of abject failure. Dismissed viewers taking out their copies on stream and cutting them up. People stopping halfway through. People not even getting past the Joel moment. Now, we all said, we all expected at some point Joel to die, but the manner in which they did it was ridiculous. But that was his choice to make. That was his failure to make because he wanted to push his Abby Smash character. And is Ellie Dana couple shipping them as the way forward for the franchise? And this rejection has been going on now for months until award ceremony started. And the award that he really wanted. And you can tell by the way that he tweeted out 
and tried to get people to rally to his cause the award he wanted was the one from what really mattered the most the gamer and he didn't get it all he did was say hey there is a vote going on right now where you as the gamer can vote for your favorite game and right now i've marshaled my forces and the last of us is way ahead and people went oh we just have to go to this website and vote do we thanks neil ghost of tashima and ghost of tashima that isn't a charity award that it received by people no 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 that game deserved to win it won on merit and make no bones about it and when cockman got called out he backtracked tried to play it off as a joke it's, it's no joke he's a nasty nasty little man hateful little man and he backtracked the president of the company going forward and he lost and goes to tashima won, and it must have eaten him up because he knew he was gonna get all the others because he knew that the game's media was complete and utterly in his pocket because of his representation with his game and so the fact that they had to try and compensate the fact that they had to shower the game with all the accolades that they could just highlighted the insecurity of the game the insecurity of the industry that it had to rush to his defense and made a mockery of what should just be a legitimate award show down the line just call it down the line but no we can't have that and we've seen these horrible journalists in action when they all went after the quarter in the other day all preaching tolerance while at the same time trying to dogpile trying to get him cancelled talking to youtube to try and get him deplatformed pathetic horrible disgusting scum parading as game journalists and the funny thing is the hilarity of it all is cuckman knows this and they know it it is an insecure industry that hates its own audience and the audience doesn't give a shit anymore they don't care what game journalists have to say and they don't care about some pathetic small man's ideological dream they just want to play a game that's got great characters great story great gameplay hopefully great graphics as well they want to get immersed in worlds and get lost in magical places not lectured to not box ticked for the sake of these ridiculous ideologues they just want to have some fun and every one of the awards that cuckman places on a shelf in the last of us uh, on naughty dog studio i should say he knows every time he looks at them they are meaningless meaningless because they didn't come from the one place that he really wanted and that was the gamer rejected at launch by the gamer still rejected by the gamer when they had the opportunity to vote good luck going forward cuckers because you've dived divided your customer base like disney did with star wars and look how that worked for the franchise <laughs> you can win everything you want from the industry it means nothing the only awards that truly count are the ones that are voted for by the players congratulations ghost of tashima for the game of the year 2020 hope you enjoyed the vid if you did do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and youtube for live streaming links are in the description box down below and I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.